Hey, what is up you guys? How is it going? Welcome to the Ecom on YouTube channel. My name is Sherban. I will be your guide for this video. And in this video, we're going to talk about Q4. Q4 stands for the fourth quarter of the year. The moment we've all been waiting for. It's the best time of the year for any dropshipper and entrepreneur out there, e-commerce entrepreneur, because this is the best time of the year. People are simply spending way more money. I don't know why, don't ask me why, mainly because they are getting bonuses at the end of the year and all that, but I think that there is something in the snow that makes people wanna spend more money. That's my conspiracy theory. I, you shouldn't care why. People just spend more money in this period of time, period. And we are gonna take advantage of this. We're gonna learn a lot of new things and uh, make sure to watch this video until the end because I am promoting some really, really cool stuff in here that you will learn about and that you will benefit from in this Q4. First of all, we're gonna talk about saving a bit of money. You're spending a lot of money on useless stuff and I want you to direct your whole attention and your whole economical bag to Q4. It's really important to, for you to save all the money that you can and stop spending it all around on apps and on all that because you will need it to promote products and to test products in the Q4. I'm gonna talk about it in this video, so make sure to be tuned. Uh, next up, we're gonna talk about some research. I'm gonna show you how to actually find winning products that you can sell in Q4, and I'm gonna give you some examples from Ecom Hunt. Make sure to check that out. Uh, next up, we're gonna talk about new products, old products that you can sell, why older products are also really, really, really good and that I, they can still make waves on the market if you do a little trick, a little secret that I'm gonna talk about, so don't miss that out. Uh, we're gonna talk about some uh, some selling strategy, how to do some retargeting, why you should you do retargeting, and last but not least, we're gonna talk about some optimization. How to optimize your store the best way possible for Q4 how to do all kinds of stuff that will attract your customer, how to do some discounts, how to make it all better for the customer. And last but not least, I have a wonderful surprise for you. In the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to actually make it snow on your store. Yes, exactly. Winter is coming. And uh, as I told you, there is something in the snow. If people are inside, they cannot get snow. This is why I was thinking about it. You can make your store look like it's snowing inside of it, so people will actually spend more money on it. Uh, okay, so make sure to watch this video until the end. Before starting, I want to please ask you to hit a like because it would greatly help us with the YouTube algorithm and more people just like yourself will receive this video and subscribe to our channel to be among the first ones who will receive a notification when we are posting something new. Let's get this video started and let's jump into Q4. So guys, the very first thing that I want to tell you is to save your money for Q4. This is really, really important. You're probably wondering, why am I saying stuff like this? We are saving our money. What's the deal? Why should we save more money for Q4? Well, mainly because you need to orient all of your resources here because people are buying more and more products in this time of the year. And that's why you want to get all of the money or at least as much money as possible on the table and you can do that by saving uh, money from, from spending it on lots of different places that don't need that. For example, if you take a look at my store here, it's pretty basic, right? You don't need to have more than, more than what, what, what you should need, right? You, if you look at my site, I only have strictly, strictly the important stuff to make my customers buy, right? I'm not spending money on, on like useless uh Themes, let's go back to our store and let me show you what is my theme. It's the debut theme. Like this is the, the most basic one. I'm not paying any money for this. And this is why I wanna tell this to a lot of new people who are seeing this video, uh, who were not uh, who were not familiar with us before and who wanna get in the dropshipping business in Q4, don't spend money on a new theme. Especially now in the Q4, you want all of those resources. This is an example, right? I use the debut theme. I think it's a pretty cool theme. You can edit it the way you want to and you can do a pretty good job with it without spending $500 on a theme. So there you go, $500 uh, in the piggy bank for you to, to, to try and test different products. This is what you want to do in Q4. You want to test as many products as possible and see how the market is going and, and, and see what your pixel likes and, and start testing different products 
different uh, metrics, different uh, impressions, try to try to use different pictures, different ad creatives, target different people and spend money on that instead of spending money on on uh, expensive themes or let's go back to my site or on like stupid banners that you spend fifty dollars on 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 like you pay professionals to make you nice banners and all that to to look good the essence is more important than that especially now in this time of the year as we are entering q4 essence is really important you want to tell your customer what you want to sell and you want to put your offer right there uh, make some discounts, make some bundles, make the customer want to buy this, explain what the product does, have a like really basic apps that, that help you generate more income and, and to keep your customers more on the website. And that's about it, right? You don't need to do anything more than that and you don't need to spend money, energy and resources on something else other than that. Because a lot of people do this they are looking at details such as, wow, this doesn't look so good. This should be more up, more down. And they are paying people lots of money to do them to do that thing for them. And uh, this is not a good time to do this, especially right now in Q4. And especially if you're a beginner, I, I, I always say this to beginners. Don't waste your money on, on uh, stupid apps, on stupid uh, themes that are hundreds over hundreds of dollars and that are not useful for you as a beginner, right? And the, even now, I mean, in the Q4, this is even more important. Guys, remember, it is really, really important for you to get your research done. Don't just jump in the pool and start selling something random because that will not work out. You need to do some research on the market. Now, this is why I would recommend you Ecomon, which is the best platform in the world when it comes to finding winning products. We have a lot of products that are making waves on the market and that will help you on a dropshipping journey. Click the first link in the description and you will get a 31% discount. This is an amazing place where you can get your research from. Now, each and every product in here has a lot of data and a lot of stuff that you can learn from them. For example, I just clicked on the on a random product. You can go ahead, scroll a bit down and click on the uh, store selling this item. So you will see the store that's selling this item. How are they selling it? How are they doing that? Uh, go back and click on the Facebook ad section and you will see an ad with the product, an actual running ad. And this is how you can spy on other stores. You can spy what they are doing, what kind of ads they are doing, uh, how are they doing like engagement wise. For example, this has 1.6 thousand likes. As you can see, uh, if you go back on Ecomont, you can see that it has 1.3 thousand likes uh, when it was posted today. So in, in less than one day, it gathered three hundred likes which is amazing you can do this with ecom hunt and this is a really good tool you can check out the engagement on ecom hunt and the engagement of the product since it was posted on ecom hunt so as you can see this first product uh, from today it had a uh, 300 likes in in less than one day and you can find lots of products just like this one this means that the product is in a move it's kind of making waves on the market and people are really appreciating it now, this doesn't mean that you should always stay here and hit the refresh button to find new products. No, that doesn't work like that. For example, if you uh, search for Calming Bad, for example, you remember that product I was talking about. That's a pretty old product. As you can see, this one is more, it was posted more than one year ago. So if you click on the show me the money button, you will see that the engagement was crazy. It's 8,000 likes, 2.3 thousand comments and uh, 75 stores currently selling this product. This is an amazing example that you shouldn't only pursue products that were posted yesterday or today or one week ago. A, a winning product is a product that kind of brings value to the customer, right? That's a winning product and period. You don't, you don't, you cannot tell me that a winning product is not a winning product anymore if it, it was uh, posted like one year ago. The, the amount of time that has passed since the product was posted does not tell me if the product is a winning product or not. But the metrics such as engagement, such as uh, how many sales does it get, how many stores are selling that product, uh, what, what numbers do they get, how many comments do they get on their ads and so on and so forth. This is why it's, it's such a good thing to always do your research. Don't just jump in the pool without making any kind of thinking because you will not wind up in a good spot. And uh, of course, you can, doing it, you can do uh, research in lots of different ways. You can go on Google Trends and see how is that working out and, and search for different uh, keywords and see how are they influencing uh, 
uh, the people who are searching them what is trending right now you can always look for products that are trending now Ikaman is especially good at this but you can use lots of different methods and lots of different metrics with that now let's go back to our website uh, there's a thing that I wanted to tell you you should always I mean always this is like it should be religion for you always use retargeting because uh, like 95% of the people who are visiting your store will not purchase from their first visit that is not good right that's not good you don't want that but that's the reality because like imagine this uh, let's let's go back on ecomon let's go back to this ad to this product and and check out their ad again uh, Facebook ads that's right so for example I am the customer I am seeing this ad right now and my maybe my wife calls me uh, or I am at the red light and and it turns to green or something like that and I see the product I really enjoying it I click on their store I go on their store and I, I see wow this is a nice product I love it but somebody calls me and I get out of there boom and I forget about that I totally forget about that that's not something that stays in my mind anymore I am gone with the car I'm gone with the call I don't know I forget about that you know 95% of the cases this happens now the thing is that you as a store owner must help your customer with that because later on when I will go onto Facebook and scroll down like a little zombie that I am I will find an ad of that product and that means retargeting always use retargeting by creating an audience made out of people that have already visited your store and retargeting them later with different ads now the thing with uh, with with older products as I saw as I showed you the the calming bed uh, let's go back to the calming bed um, everybody knows that product it's a huge winning product right so if you're gonna use the same and the same images uh, as one year ago as two years ago as five years ago people will get used to that and they will know what is that right if you if you click on this product you will see these images like all of the stores are using the same images and this is what you have to do if you want to revive a winning product that was winning uh, a while ago like two years ago five years ago you don't have to use the same images just go on AliExpress oh this will be funny this is uh, the first thing that pops <laughs> when I hit <laughs> when I uh, when I hit uh, AliExpress and it says one order I ordered this t-shirt I have it in my <laughs> I have it in my drawer now let's uh, pet calming bed let's click on 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 search and see this one has 10,000 sold now if you click on this you will realize that there are lots of pictures and you can use the reviews as well you cannot stick to the same thing over and over again because people are really used to to the same stuff right you, you have to come up with something new for example you could go into the review section and you will find lots of pictures that you can use for your reviews and that is amazing news right that's an amazing thing to do nowadays you can use exactly the same pictures that the, oh wow this is a bad dog <laughs> <laughs> That's a, don't use this don't use this only for like funny purposes uh, but you can use these pictures to to kind of uh, refresh the memory of your customer don't just use this cat because this cat everybody use that cat everybody everybody's familiar with that and this this pug and the cat over there they everybody uses the same I really love this <laughs> everybody uses the same pictures and you should do something different so this is a golden rule if you want to revive a winning product that was posted like one year ago five years ago three years ago that was winning back then you cannot succeed if you do exactly the same stuff this is why you have to come up with something new and as I told you earlier always use retargeting and basically that's about it uh, what I wanted to tell you another a little secret always use bundles and always use discounts see as I as I did here save big with bundles and this this takes the, the the top real estate of my website save big with bundles and I'm telling customers that if they are buying more stuff they will get a better price and this is what you have to do also it's really 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 important for you to give your customers bundles uh, it depends on the product for example if you have something that I don't know like something uh, let's say a, a tool that helps you take your shoe uh, in your foot 
uh, that's something that the whole family can use, right? So you can easily sell those in bundles of three or five and offer them at a better price. For example, if you have them at, at $10 one, uh, tell the, the customers that if they buy five of them, they can buy it for $40 instead of $50 and they will uh, say $10 and the price will be $8 instead of $10. That's amazing, right? That's really good. And you should always attract your customers like that because that way they will come back because of the retargeting and they will keep buying because you give them good prices. And basically, uh, basically that's it. You always, always put your customers first, put their needs first, come up with bundles, come up with discounts, with offers, all kinds of offers. And basically, uh, be ready. Be ready for traffic all the time. Now, another really, really important thing that I want to tell you, it's Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, it's around the corner. Uh, I think it's on 26th of November, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 26th of November this year. Uh, basically, this is a period of time between uh, a Friday and a Monday that uh, everybody's going crazy and people are starting spending more and more money. This is like a variation of the Black Friday. Uh, people wanted to spend more money and business owners wanted to make more money. So these two met together and they come up with uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. And uh, this is making the whole e-commerce scene even more fireworky. And uh, you, you shouldn't forget about this. Uh, always, always keep in mind that in, in this period of time, people are spending way, way, way more money than they usually do. And this is why you have to come up with better offers, with discounts, with, with stuff to keep your customers running, uh, pump up the numbers on your retargeting, come up with new ads, always, always keep, in, keep refreshing your website, keep making something new, keep adding products, keep adding discounts and focus on your ads. Start scaling your ads because that's the period of time when you should do that. Uh, lock yourself inside of a cave or something like that and, and just do that. There are only three days where people are going nuts over, over spending money on, on whatever. So it doesn't matter what you're selling. If it's uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, you will succeed <laughs> because uh, people are like zombies. I like to call them zombies. And they are our customers. We should take good care of them. Now, uh, this is why uh, this is why Q4 is so important because mainly because th this day, this day is crazy. Uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday is crazy. It's not a day; it's actually like a weekend. Uh, Black Friday is crazy. Christmas is crazy. Saint Nicholas is crazy. Uh, there are lots of dates and free calendar days uh, where people get free days from their work, and they they what else can they do but spend their money? Now you can, uh, let's go back to our uh, Shopify here and let's go to the app section. I want to show you something really cool. Now you want to be ready for Q4, right? And being ready means that you need to have some apps that will help you with that. For example, Abandonment Protector. This is really important. Abandonment Protector is an app that will uh, create pop-up emails and newsletters. Now what do they do? When somebody doesn't buy from you, for example, they go to our store, they add it to the cart, they go to the whole process, they give you uh, their information and all of that, but they don't finish it. That's where Abandonment Protector comes into place. You can create a campaign of, uh, of, of stuff that's dedicated to people who abandon your checkout. This is why it's called Abandonment Protector. It protects your business from abandonment, abandonment of the, the cart. More, more specifically. So when somebody abandons your cart, they will get a pop-up or they will get an email or or you can also create newsletter campaigns when you have a, something new coming into your store and you have a list of customers, you can use that newsletter campaign to send them uh, uh, an email telling them, hey, look at this, uh, we have some new products. But I usually uh, use Abandonment Protector for email automation because it helps you with abandoned checkouts. That's exactly what you want from this app. When somebody abandons your checkout to, to get reminded, they will get an email and you can personalize that email. You can actually, uh, you can tell them, hey, look, you forgot this product and that product is exactly the product that they forgot in their cart and uh, they will get a chance to buy from a, let's say, 10% discount if they come back. Come back, finish your order and you will get 10% off. 
I, I'm sure that you got a lot of emails just like that one. And this is basically uh, the, the 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 place where you can do that in uh, in abandonment protector. And uh, this is enabled for my store, and you can send up to three email templates to people who have abandoned a checkout. Includes a link to return to the checkout process with the same products at the time of abandonment. And that's amazing. You can give discounts. You can you can make your customers come back. And basically, the, what what this does is uh, it helps you keep more money on the table and that's what you want to do another really important thing trust badges any website should have them trust badges are exactly what they say they give your customers the trust to buy from you you're not a nobody and they can trust you now trust badges are something like this we are secured PayPal verified very sign you can pay with Visa PayPal, MasterCard, Discovery, Apple Pay, Amex, you can use all of these and and these are basically stuff that are making your customer trust you more than they do and to, 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 to trust you with their money basically. And uh, here is uh, another form of a, a, a trust badge, fast delivery, guarantee satisfaction, money back guarantee. This is also really important because people are used to getting their money back on something that they don't want and that's how it should be secure ordering, easy returns. You have to make your customer calmer and make your customer trust you more with their money. This is why trust badges are so important. And last but not, not least, as Christmas is coming, as colder weather is coming, just write, uh, not here, let's go on customize your store. This will take us to the app store. And if you write something like snow, I will show you a cool trick that you can do uh, in the in the winter time, close to close to Christmas, let's uh, let's input there snow. Hit enter, and you will see some ads that will give you, for example, this one: nice snow, snowfall effect. This one gives you 3D seasonal effects for Halloween, and of course, Halloween is coming as well. Uh, let's click on this one and uh, see what it adds. Basically, it's it's two dollars per month, so it's almost free. It basically adds stuff like snowflakes, falling snowflakes on your store and it will make it a bit more in interactive. Uh, for example, you could use this for Valentine's Day, for, uh, for fireworks, for all kinds of stuff. And these are cheap apps that are, are, are used to, you, you should really use them because they are really, really nice for your store. And it gives that, I don't know, that homey feeling that warm feeling on your store and you should always use this because it's like it's it's Christmas time and uh, it, it's colder outside and it will give your customer that feeling you know uh, another thing that you should use is uh, where is it uh, so if I if I click shop now it will take me to the part of my store where I can shop this now if I add something to the cart you notice that wait I didn't click it you notice that it would take me straight to the cart page. No shortcuts, no no messing around. Now, why did I do this? This is really important. You want to have this. You want to transfer your customers. When they click the Add to Cart, you want to transfer them to the cart page. This is really important because there are lots of stores such as, uh, I don't know, such as Amazon. I showed you in the previous videos. If you go to Amazon.com, it doesn't matter. I just want to show you something. If you go on any random product and if you click it and if you add it to the cart, add to basket, you will see just a number in here, shopping basket, and it will let me scroll further. Now, this is not what you want to do. We are dropshippers and we want to get our customers money. We want to lock that money on the table right away. We don't want to mess around. And this is why when people click on your add to cart button, they should be transferred to the cart page straight away no distractions amazon is such a big business and they can afford that because they know that people will come back and they will search for more products but we cannot afford this we want to lock that sale as fast as possible and by doing this you're doing exactly that you're locking your customer to the cart page and making him put the, his attention in here and uh, put his attention in buying your product that's it as clean as that and uh, you don't want to you don't want your customer to get lost for example if they clicked on the add to cart button and they wouldn't have been transferred they would have been lost and they would scroll on your store and maybe forget about it there's lots of instances where your customer can't forget about buying 
and it starts with seeing the ad as I told you they see the ad and they are in traffic uh, they get a red light and green light they forget about it you have to retarget them and after they come to the store you have to transfer them straight to the car page just like a small kid you know treat your customer just like a small kid and you will not regret it that was it guys thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video before leaving I have three requests I hope you watched all the video and I hope that you saved this snowing effect app and you're gonna use it in the winter because it would greatly help us and it's pretty fun, right? Second of all, please like this video if you enjoyed it because it would greatly help us with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to our channel because you will be among the first ones who will receive a notification when we are posting something new. And don't forget about Ecomon. First link in the description will get you a 31% discount, which is amazing in this part of the year. Thank you for watching and I hope you will have an amazing weekend and an amazing Q4. Bye-bye.